over the hills and far away. Tom, he was a piper's son. He learnt to play when he was young, but all the tune that he could play was over the hills and far away. Over the hills and a great way off, the wind shall blow my top knot off. That's interesting. Look what I got yesterday. We got we bought some second-hand cups from the uh, St. Vincent de Paul's. And I, look, it says over the hill. Over the hill. You can see why the person who was given it dumped it in St. Vinnie's, can't you? Over the hill. Who wants to be told they're over the hill? It's, it's an insult, really. It's a negative suggestion. I feel like breaking it, but I thought I'd give it some positivity by um, linking it to over the hills and far away. Over the hill. Does over the hill mean it's all downhill hereafter? I don't know that it means that. It's supposed to mean you're finished, doesn't it? in conversation when you're told you're over the hill. I'd never tell anyone they were over the hill. That's very nasty. Anyway, over the hills and far away. I sing this. Tom, he was a piper's son. He learned to play when he was young. But all the tune that he could play was over the hills and far away. Over the hills and a, and a great way off, the wind shall blow my top not off. Haven't I got a mar marvelous voice? <laughs> See ya. Don't let yourself be told you're over the hill. Don't let anyone say that to you. Don't.